For every NFL coach, the Super Bowl is the ultimate destination. That's what you work for. I mean, the reason we do it is to play in this game and get the opportunity to be in this game. For Madison native and Broncos running backs coach Eric Studisville, this game comes Sunday. But before he taught the pros their X's and O's, Eric was just like any other kid. Raised on the south side over off Park Street, learned to play football in Penn Park. Neither one of my parents were athletics and, and those things. That was really my interest. Um, but the thing my parents were was incredibly supportive of anything that I did. That support took Eric from the south side to Verona, then college football at Whitewater before a fork in the road led him to the desert. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. And so I worked for a year at uh, the sports medicine clinics down on University Avenue uh, and then decided to go back to graduate school and pick University of Arizona to go to graduate school. That's where he discovered his love of coaching. From there, three different stops on the winding road of college football earned him a visit to the Windy City and that is where everything changed. And then had a great opportunity to work with the Chicago Bears in the NFL Minority Internship Program. And uh, Dave Wanstead hired me the next year and 17 years later and a lot of, a lot of tape and study later we're, we're standing right here. Studisville and his Broncos are at the doorstep of football's mecca. We set our eyes on a goal, not knowing if we get there, but knowing if we all stayed together and worked hard, we'd have a chance. And now we've got a chance for one more step. While football season's been great, it hasn't been without struggle. In June, Studisville lost both of his parents in a motorcycle accident, making his journey to the Super Bowl bittersweet. Both my parents wanted this experience for me so bad. And, uh, and they know how important it is, how hard I work for it, and I wanted them to be here to share it with, and that's, that's the hardest part for me. In my mind, the tragedy of this really is for the Madison community, lost two unbelievable people that loved that community, gave freely to that community, were a part of that community, and you know, there's, it's, it's a loss. But that loss didn't shake Studisville's bond with the people of Madison, who support him from a time zone away. I get texts after every game from people who are cheering and watching and, and saying that they're happy for what's going on here and supporting it. So it's, you couldn't ask for any more. Now, miles away from his Southside Raider days, Studisville is living his boyhood dream. And while his parents won't be in the seats at MetLife Stadium, he'll have plenty of support come kickoff. My wife Stacy and, and my daughter Sydney and my son EJ are going to the game. so. I'm going to have a lot of support there, actually physically being there as well as looking over from above. And as his parents look down on their son with pride, Eric can hear their words of encouragement. My parents would say, hey, you did good getting here, but let's finish this thing. We, we got this far. Don't let up now. And so I'm not. That's uh, like all of us are. We're staying focused on finishing in the whole process. And I think that's what would make them the most proud of all if, if we did that.